Hey, what's up, YouTubers? I'm Michael. I'm the face and creator of MTB Films. Basically, what MTB Films, what I want to do with it is I want to start creating like short films that revolve around religious situations. Like basically, like recreating different situations in the Bible. And they don't really have to be stories from the Bible, but just have a meaning that can be explained from the Bible, like all sorts of different situations, like dealing with temptation, like sexuality, like drugs, like basically like just like anything that we can learn from the word, I'm gonna bring it and show it in a film, like a short film. And what NTB stands for is no turning back. And like what I'm referring to is after you give yourself to Christ, like there's no turning back. That's the only road that you should be following, and that's what I wanna. That's what I wanna do. Well, basically, a little bit about me is I grew up Catholic. Like I was, I grew up with uh, my mother. I'm, I'm half Mexican and I'm half black, and I just grew up with my mother and my little brother, and in a Catholic family. And like I never was really into church. Like, I would go, like, we would go every Sunday, and I would be the type of kid that would, like, stop falling asleep, and my mom would have to shove me or pinch me to wake me up, but it really never meant anything to me. I would go to Bible study. Like, I grew up knowing who Jesus was and a lot of the stories in the Bible, like Samson, Delilah, like Noah's Ark, and all those stories. Like, I knew them, and I knew who Jesus was. Like, I know he was the savior of our lives. But that's basically it. I did not know anything else. And like, I had a good home. Like, my mom ended up meeting my dad when I was about eight. They got married when I was 10. And he's he's amazing. Like, he's part of our lives now. And I had a good home. Like, I had a good family. But in high school, like, I was just, I guess, a rebellious kid. Like, I would always get into arguments with my mom. Like me and my mom, we, we would always bump heads because like we, we basically, we had the exact same kind of personality. And of course we would always clash and we would always bump heads and like be yelling and screaming at each other. And like, I guess I started getting into a lot in, into drugs. And not even temptation, like I was just, I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to see how it was. And I started drinking a lot. Like I started drinking at a young age. And again, like, not that I that I was tempted or that somebody made me do it. I was just curious. Like, I just wanted to see how it was. And like, so I started getting into partying and sex. And I just started getting into that lifestyle. And basically, after I graduated, it continued with me as well. Until I met my friend Mike. Like, we went to the same high school, but we were just acquaintances. Like, we knew, we had mutual friends. But that was basically it. But then I met him again in college, and we started hanging out more. We found we had a lot of in common. Uh, we both liked anime, and like so we would hang out a lot. And it wasn't until this one night that that we just were talking, like we were just up talking, and somehow the topic went into religion. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know about religion. I said I didn't know he like he was religious at all, and. So we was talking, and then he just started saying all this stuff that I had no idea about, like, like, I can't even think about it right now, but basically, like, just so many different stuff, and it just was blowing my mind, and I just kept asking questions after questions, and, like, we just stayed up all night talking, and then he, he, like, I told him that I've never read the Bible because the only version I knew was the King James Version. I was like, I can't read that. That's in, like, old English text. Like, I didn't know how to read it. And then he told me that there's so many different other ver other translations out there that anybody can read. Like, And, like, he gave me this one, the NLT, the New Living Translation. And, like, I was so amazed because I could understand it. I could read it. It was, like, it was so simple. And, like, so basically that was, like, my first Bible that, that I could understand, I could read. And I was reading it. 
And like after that, like I would always go to his house and like talk to him and his family. Just I had all these questions. I was like basically like a kid all over again, like asking all these different questions and all this knowledge that just kept like all this knowledge that just kept that swarming over me. And it was amazing. I started going to the church. And at first it was completely different. And the funny thing is, when I went to the church, the first uh, lesson they were teaching was called losing your religion. And I thought that was just so weird. But then, like, I understand it now. Like, religion is, is a man-made thing. Like, Jesus Christ was just a teacher. And that's what Christianity is just about. It's just about living a lifestyle and just teaching others how to live it. Like, religion has all these rules and all these traditions. Like, the Catholic religion, it was just, it just became just the same thing repetitive over and over again. Like, every Sunday, you do the same thing. And it was just, that's why I never got into it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, because I've seen, I know Catholics that are really into their faith and that that are just as strong as, as belief as I am. But I'm saying for me personally, that wasn't for me. And so basically, after I started going to the church, like everything just, it was just so different, but it was, it was just amazing. Like I was learning so much and I ended up getting my family to go into it as well. And my mom, like just seeing her change too, was just amazing. Like it seriously, like just put a smile on my face. Like just, like just seeing that, uh, like we can do this as a family. And so basically after that, I just, I started learning more and like slowly I started my old ways started just disappearing. Like at first I remember having a conversation with him saying that like I wanna become a better person but I don't wanna I'm afraid that that whenever if I follow Christ and get in like give into the Holy Spirit that I won't be myself anymore. That my personality would be so different. Like I don't like I was like I wanna still be able to, to party and have fun. I was like Cause isn't that why God put us here for? So we can live a, a life that we want to do and have so much fun, but still be good. But now just thinking back on it, it's just, it's pointless. Like living a life without Christ is seriously pointless. It doesn't mean you can you need to live a boring life. Like I still have fun. I know how to have fun. And I still go out, hang out with friends. But I just don't need sex and drugs and all that stuff to do it. So basically now, I'm going to UNT, like I'm here just in my apartment, in my room, and basically I'm just, I'm having fun, like, like God has given me so much, and I just want to start giving back, and that's what I want to do with these films, like, like right now I'm in the process of writing up, typing up a script of a topic that I think, I hope that y'all will like, and like that's what I just want to do, I just want to just make all these short films and just, just give back, cause I was I've been giving so much, and I want to help and teach people how to give back. So hope y'all y'all see it soon. I hope y'all like it, and just tell me what y'all think, and maybe y'all can give me ideas like what y'all think, what y'all want to see. And so, alright, I'm Michael. It's nice talking to y'all. Peace out.